Hello everyone, welcome to my channel of learning French language. Je m'appelle Chanchal, my name is Chanchal and I'm back with a new video of learning French. In today's video, we are going to learn about nationalities in French, which is les nationalités en français. So let's start. Before I start nationalities, there is a small information for you. To say nationalities in French, we use the adjectives of nationalities with the verb être. If you don't know how to use verb être and how to conjugate it, you can see my previous video. The link is given in the description box. So we can say adjectives are used with verb être. For example, je suis Indian. I am Indian. Je suis Indian. This is for girls. Je suis Indian. Il est Indian. He is Indian. Elle est Indian. She is Indian. Nous sommes Indian. We are Indians. Vous êtes Indian. You are Indian. Ils sont Indian. They are Indian. This is for group of boys. Elles sont Indian. They are Indian. This is for group of girls. Just like other adjectives in French, nationalities do also change. With respect to gender, which is masculine and feminine, or number. Either it is singular or plural. So, there is another video on adjectives in which you can see that how adjectives change with respect to gender and number. The link is shared in the description box as well. So, to make feminine adjectives, there is a thumb rule that you have to keep in mind. To make adjective in feminine, we have to add E at the end of masculine adjective. For example, Francais, it is a masculine adjective. And to convert it into a feminine adjective, we have to add E, Francaise. So pronunciation will also change. So for your convenience, I have divided the nationalities into two parts. First is prononce is equal to écrire. This means how we pronounce the nationality in French is same how we write them. They both write and pronounce in the same way. This is because they already have E at the end of masculine nationality. Let's see the examples. First is Russia. In French, we say Rusi. The nationality in English is Russian. And in French, masculine nationality is Rus. Since it is having E at the end of word Rus, so there will be no change if we are converting it into a French nationality. Rus, Rus. Next is Belgium. In French, we say Belgique. Nationality is Belgian. And in French, nationality is Belge. So there will be no change in the feminine nationality as well because Belge is having E at the end of word. Next is Serbia. In French, we say Serbi. Nationality in English is Serbian. And in French, masculine nationality is Serb. Since it is also having E at the end of word Serb, so there will be no change in the feminine nationality as well. Serb, Serb. Next is Slovakia. In French, we say Slovaki. Nationality in English is Slovak. And in French, masculine nationality is Slovak. As we have learned that if we are having E at the end of any nationality, 
then it will not change in the feminine nationality as well. Silovak, Silovak. Next part is pronounce is not equal to akhirir. This means how we pronounce the nationality is not the same how we write it. Despite of having same pronunciation, some nationalities have different spellings. And to form a feminine nationality, we have to add E to the masculine nationality. So for that, there are certain rules that you have to keep in mind. Rule number one, adjectives which are ending with S or AIS. The feminine of that nationality is formed by adding E by which pronunciation is also get change. For example, Portuguese, it is a masculine nationality and I have to add E to make it feminine. Portuguese. Rule number two, adjectives which are ending with N, the feminine of that nationality is formed as N E. For example, Mexican, it is a masculine nationality and I have to add E to make it feminine one, Mexican. So you can see that in masculine, if it is having N at the end of adjective, then I have to add E, Mexican. Rule number three, there are nationalities that ends with K, Q, U, E. That is because to conserve the pronunciation. We have to add Q, U, E, K to change into the feminine one, but pronunciation will be the same. For example, Turk. It is a masculine nationality and to convert it into a feminine, we have to add Q, U, E, Turk. You can see the pronunciation is same. Rule number four, adjectives which are ending with E-N. The feminine of that nationality is formed by adding E-N and E-N. Let's take an example. Canadian, it is a masculine nationality. Canadian, it is a feminine nationality. So you can see that the word Canadian is ending with E-N in the masculine nationality and to convert it into a feminine nationality, we have to add E-N-N-E, Canadian. So let's take another examples. First is Spain. In French, we say Espine. The nationality in English is Spanish and nationality in French is Espanol. And to convert it into a feminine nationality, we have to add E, Espanol. You can see the difference between masculine and feminine nationality with respect to spelling. But the pronunciation is same. Espanol, Espanol. Next is Turkey. In French, we say Turkey. Nationality is Turkish and in French masculine nationality is Turk and to convert it into a feminine we have to add Q U E K Turk. Next is Greece. In French we say Gres. The nationality in English is Greek and in French Nationality is Greek and to convert it into a feminine, we have to again add Q-U-E, Greek. The next country is France and in French we say France. The nationality in English is French and in French language we say Francais for masculine and we have to add E for the feminine 
फ्रांसेस फ्रांसे फ्रांसेस नेक्स्ट इज इंडिया इन फ्रेंच वी से एंड नेशनैलिटी इज इंडियन एंड इन फ्रेंच मस्क्यूलिन नेशनैलिटी इज एंडिया एंड टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू अ फेमिन वी हैव टू अप्लाई द रूल ई एन एन ई एन डी एन बिकॉज वी हैव लर्न दैट नेशनैलिटी एंडिंग विद ई एन इन द मस्क्यूलिन वी हैव टू एड ई एन एन ई टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू अ फेमिन नेशनैलिटी so andia andian next is italy in french we say italy nationality is italian and in french masculine nationality is italian and for the feminine nationality we say italian next is england in french we say angleterre the nationality in english is british and in french we say anglais and for the masculine nationality we will apply the rule of adding e anglais next country is saudi arabia in french we say arabi saudi the nationality in english is saudian and in french masculine nationality is saudia and feminine nationality is saudian next is japan in french we say japon the nationality in english is japanese and in french masculine nationality is japonais and feminine nationality is japonaise next is china in french we say chine the nationality in english is chinese in french masculine nationality is chinois and feminine nationality is chinoise next is america in french we say amerique the nationality in english is american nationality in french is for masculine it is america and for feminine it is american so you have to write your nationality in french in the comment box quelle est votre nationalité moi je suis indien et vous thank you all for watching this video if you like the video then please like it and subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for the latest updates au revoir abianto